afternoon. <coughs> I am Coach Tony. It is raining outside, so I thought I would do a stationary ball handling workout to help you uh, with control uh, and help you just really fine tune while you're sitting in front of the TV or hanging out at home. All right, so we're going to start off with one ball and just follow along with me. Grab your basketball. We're working on control here. Keeping the ball on your fingertips. Moving it as fast as you can with your right hand. Now moving it to your left. You really want to control the basketball. Alright, back to your right, we're going to go single finger, working on controlling that ball, with your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger. Now we're going to go into a chop, arms starting to get tired. Pound it. Now back of the hand. Control that ball. Ooh. All right, switch it up. Index finger with the left hand. Middle finger. Ring finger. Pinky, chop it up. Pound it out. Back of the hand. Working on control. All right, bring it back to the right. Now we're gonna do what I like to call playing the drums. So we're gonna try to get the ball going fast as you can, using both your hands. We'll start off with just a dribble, and then we're going to do almost a grip to work on your ball control. Try to keep that ball in front of you, try to keep your head up if you can, and push yourself to go as fast as you can. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how we get better. One more time. All right. So now we're going to do a little bit of control dribbling. We're going to take the ball with our right hand on the outside of our leg. Three or four dribbles. Bring it to the inside of your leg. Three or four dribbles. Bring it back. this. We're going to try to take one dribble in between and control that ball going back and forth. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Okay, if you need to modify, move your leg first. Until you get comfortable, then keep your leg stationary. Try to bring that ball back and forth. Okay? Now you can always hit pause and extend these for as long as you can. Now let's switch to our left. Bring it back. Back and forth. All right. Next one we're going to do is we're going to go two dribbles to bring the ball under our legs to our left hand. Put our feet back down and then bring it back to the right hand. One, two, under. One, two, under, one, two, under, one, two, under, 
Just get a nice little rhythm going. Put that ball under your legs. And eventually, you want to see if you can just keep your legs down and get that ball underneath. Oh, I don't know. One, two. Maybe with a smaller ball. All right. Now, we're going to take two basketballs. Try to work on both at the same time, both hands. So we're going to start with outside dribble. Pounding it. Try to get as quick as you can with the dribble. Simultaneous, we bounce at the same time. Now switch to alternate. Alternating dribble. Arms starting to burn. Back to simultaneous. Pound it, pound it. Now, we're going to try the same thing we did earlier, taking the ball here, then moving both basketballs, one to the middle, one to the outside, bringing it back. So now we're going to try to take the dribble out of that and just go continuous, bringing the ball back and forth. First, we're going to do that with one, hand, one ball, then we'll throw the second ball in there. So we're going to lay here. Again, you can do this watching TV, hanging out, uh, anytime. So you're going to try to move that basketball in between your legs. This move will help you on your inside out dribble. Your V dribble, moving the ball side to side. All right, now we're going to take two balls and we're going to try to go back and forth. The key is to all this when you're controlling the basketball is to pound the ball as hard as you can. The harder you pound it, the more it sticks to your hand and lets you manipulate the basketball. All right, so we're going to try to start here and just go continuous. going. Again, you can extend all this to make it harder. I'm trying to give you a little workout and show you some things at the same time. All right, we like to end every workout doing something a little fun, a little crazy, a little bit challenging. Uh, so check it out. We're going to keep our dribble, throw our legs over our head, try to maintain our dribble, and come back, work on our core a little bit. Okay, so we get that nice speed dribble going. Get down here. And we're going to Throw our legs back over our head. Keep that dribble. Bring it back here. Legs back over your head. Try to touch your toes to the ground if you can. Keeping that dribble. And that's your workout for today. Hopefully you had some fun. We'll be posting more. Thanks, Coach Tony with Triple Threat Academy.